Hello everybody, I'm Bill Ann and this is RC Heli News for May 2021. BK servos are back. BK has developed a new line of brushless servos with impressive specs. Labeled the BK9001HV and BK9005HV, these new servos are ready to hit the market. This new release consists of standard size cyclic and tail servo. First batches will not include a box, but will include a generous discounted price. These brushless cyclic servos feature an incredible amount of torque, lightning fast speed, and titanium gears. These are ideal for 550 up to 800 class helicopters. They're also suitable for airplanes as well as for throttle and steering in cars. The titanium gears are incredibly strong and will hold up against tough abuse in RC helicopters, meanwhile maintaining a slot-free gear train. Word at the field is that people are very excited about the return of BK servos. These brushless servos are known for being very quiet and these servos have amazing specs. BK is also very well known for excellent customer service. For more information and ordering, check out bkhobbies.com. Soon it's gonna be time to cook some of those SAB raws. Yep, cook them with some nitro that is. SAB Heli Division has been releasing videos of a Nitro Raw flying on their Facebook page. The latest Facebook post by SAB Heli Division showed a testing flight of the upcoming Nitro Raw. Specs will be released soon with the Heli release set for June. Augiecopter has been in the process of uploading videos to YouTube that demonstrate his instinctive flying method. The videos are first released on Facebook's RC Heli Hangout, then on his YouTube channel titled Augiecopter. The method is a game changer for learning how to progress in RC Heli flying. Augie claims his method will help pilots break through their current ceiling. The first videos are dedicated to showing pilots how to adjust their simulators for training with the instinctive flying method. So far, Augie has demonstrated how to set up Next, AccuRC, and HeliX. In fact, HeliX has just released version 9.2 to help support Augie's method. During Spring Fling, Augie released his first training videos demonstrating his new instinctive flying method. For more information, check out Augie's YouTube channel under his Facebook name, Augie Copter. Speaking of Augie Copter, check out his newly developed XGuard Plus RC backup guard with telemetry and alarm strobe light ports. The new capacitor based backup includes telemetry and alarm ports. This backup guard has interesting features like the ability to send alarm data directly to your VBAR Neo or Spectrum receiver. The unit is also very well priced with different sizes available. For more information, check out xguardrc.com. Since the release of the Mikado V Control, integration with the Fly Barless controller has been one of the most sought after features. The ability to make quick adjustments from your transmitter cannot be understated. Luckily, pilots now have more options. Futaba first entered the fray with their flagship model 32MZ that allowed for integration with the CGY760 fly barless. Now pilots are able to purchase the 16IZ. This new transmitter from Futaba is competitively priced. The 16IZ includes integration with the ever popular CGY 760R. Sold for $600 to $700 depending on options, the 2.4 GHz 16iZ features 16 channels plus 2 switch channels. The radio features Futaba's fast test system. This system allows data to be checked from the receiver to your transmitter. Other features include SBUS 2 and a beautiful 4.3 inch colored touchscreen. A micro SD card can be used for model data, music files, 
voice files, and picture files. The microSD card can also be used when updating the software features of the 16iZ. The 16iZ allows for audible telemetry data to be read aloud along with a vibration alarm system. The radio is powered by a 2000 milliamp 2S lithium power battery. Upon purchase, pilots have the option to choose helicopter or airplane version of the transmitter. As if that wasn't enough, Futaba has also released the WSC-1. This wireless USB adapter allows for wireless connectivity between SFHSS compatible Futaba transmitters like the 16iZ to your Windows PC and your favorite simulator. Check out FutabaUSA.com for more information and pricing. Who doesn't love their Scorpion tools? Bill Ann himself finally ordered a full kit of Scorpion drivers. To be honest, I should have done that years ago. Scorpion has just released a set of drivers for US standard sizes. This includes 1 over 16 inch, 5 over 64 inch, 3 over 32 inch, 7 over 64 inch, and 1 8 inch. Each of these new drivers is listed for about $12. If that wasn't good enough, Scorpion has also released a new Scorpion multi-bit hex driver tool for these new US standard sizes. The single tool will contain the same five different hex sizes, plus it has an adjustable shaft length for compact storage and use, as well as extended use for those hard to reach bolts. One thing I can tell you, Bill Ann himself will be purchasing a Scorpion multi-bit hex driver soon. Word at the field is that the Scorpion drivers are some of the best drivers you can buy for the money. Wings Heli has released the new APS tail booms for the Oxy-5. This innovative design consists of numerous holes along the boom to reduce air vortex and drag. Rasmus Jakinson from Denmark initially developed the idea back in 2020. The booms are called APS booms for Adaptive Proportional Skeleton. Rasmus ran numerous simulations to determine the best profile and position for each hole. Many samples were made and tested. After a full year of testing, the APS booms are available for all versions of the Oxy-5. Word at the field is that you can actually feel a difference using the APS booms. It's also cool to be able to look in and see your tail belt. Also from Lynx are new canopies for the Oxy-5. This includes all versions of the Oxy-5 from the 550 to 625 to Nitro Oxy-5. Check them out at lynxheli.com. Another new product from Lynx Heli is carburetor throttle arms produced with 7075 aluminum. These newly designed throttle arms are universal for all heli engines such as OS, YS, and Nova Rossi. Precise CNC operation was used to assure tight tolerances and finish. The new aluminum throttle arms are lightweight and strong and come in red, blue, and black. The linkage ball holes are M2 thread. The package includes the throttle arm and an M3 steel screw. Spring Fling in Fredericksburg, Virginia was held from April 29th to May 1st. The event was an outstanding success with pilots coming from all over the U.S. to attend. But let's take a look at some of the upcoming events. First, there is the 6th Annual Mid-Atlantic Heli Championships to be held on May 21st to May 23rd. This event will be held in Palmyra, Virginia. The event is an interesting one combining F3C competition along with a fun fly. Friday will be used for F3C practice, with all competition being completed and done on Saturday. Saturday night will include night flying under towers with general flying on Sunday. For more information, visit the 6th Annual Mid-Atlantic Heli Championships page on Facebook. Next comes the San Diego Heli Fun Fly for June 11th to 13th. The event will be held at Palomore Flyers RC Club and includes spots for RVs and camping. Expect an impressive array of pro pilots along with night flying. For more information, 
visit www.polymorercflyers.com. Finally, in July, it's time for the 2021 Ohio Howley Throwdown. The event is set for July 15th to July 18th. This event will be held at the Nighthawks RC Club in North Jackson, Ohio. The event will feature Howley drag racing and an amateur 3D contest. For more information, visit the 2021 Ohio Howley Throwdown page on Facebook. Thanks everybody for watching and make sure to subscribe to Bill Ann's YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Freefall RC Podcast, the Telerotor Podcast, Heli Heads Podcast, and the Skids Up Podcast. Special thanks to Mikey Shaggy Parker and Rob Monty. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you at the field.